Hi, my name is Haley Dyer, and the case study that I decided to choose was the burnout in college students. I wanted to look at the burnout levels and determine if being a college athlete at the University of Jamestown would have an effect on your levels of stress and increase the probability that you will experience symptoms of burnout, or if being a non-athlete would have these same effects, and if the stressors would be any different. So for my introduction, um, the job that one has can be associated with the levels of stress or your likelihood to experience burnout. Someone that is working in a fast food joint could possibly have more because of dealing with people and the social interactions that they're going to experience. Whereas someone that is working on a computer, their stress levels could be less because of they're not having the social interaction. Or it could be more because they're dealing with things that aren't necessarily in their control. Um, although burnout has been recently talked about more and more over the past decade or so, um, we don't ever talk about the long lasting effects of burnout and what this has on us. Um, we need to determine the coping mechanisms and the treatments that need to be administered. And these studies need to be performed in order for these treatment programs to be implemented in the school system. It has also been found that the school settings of burnout are due to the pressure that you have from teachers, coaches, parents, and yourself to perform well in school and to make sure that you get a good GPA. So the methods I decided to use uh, individuals that attended the University of Jamestown, they also had to be in summer school. Um, I had them fill out an online questionnaire that consisted of demographics, sports and school related questions like if they participated and how many years and if they quit or not. Um, I also had them take a burnout scale to see on the scale how they fell. Um, I also, they got sent through email and they were also rewarded extra credit by participating in the study. Um, they signed a consent form and we also made sure to make sure to make sure that if they needed any help, that they could reach out to Dana Wallace or also contact the counseling department. Um, the results that I found during the study, they were not that significant um, due to a sam small sample size. The p-value was not significant. None of the results and anal analytics that were found and ran, they didn't show anything that correlated burnout and the difference between a college athlete and just a college student. Um, the sample did allow the observation of burnout in college students and did show that students are stressed. They are extremely stressed, although they think very highly of themselves in most ways and they don't have the stress like on themselves and they still think that they're doing well, they're stressed. They are putting so much on their plate in order to succeed. Um, and again, there was no significant analysis that was found. So for the discussion part, I think that the sample size was too small. Um, this is just, they had to be enrolled in summer courses and not that many people participate in summer courses through our school. Um, participants also choose to be in summer school. So that shows you the kind of student that you're already gonna get. You're gonna get the people that want to work hard, wanna put, put in that extra effort, even if they have a job during the summer, like they want to work, they want to improve. Um, normally, there also needs to be a minimum GPA that is needed, a 3.0 normally. So this already has an effect on trying to see if burnout leads to increase or decrease of a GPA because a lot of these people had a good GPA for the most part. I think that with a larger, sam a larger, larger sample size, there could be a lot of possibilities of findings. We could find that just everyone's stressed or that college athletes experience it more. I think that this study being furthered would help tremendously. Um, it would help add resources to our campus. Without these resources, burnout is going to happen and people don't talk about burnout on our campus. And I don't think they realize how much stress that we have on ourselves and how much it's affecting our mental health. So I really think that the furthering of this study and a larger sample size within our school could help us implement some treatment and prevention programs for burnout and help students as a whole be less stressed and know how to manage their stress as well. Thank you.